Howdy, everyone. Welcome to Tilson Live. It is Tuesday. I am one of your hosts, Eric Allard, part of the fourth generation of the Tilson family, joined as I am every week by Don Dancer, Vice President of Marketing and Customer Experience. Welcome, Don. Hey, Eric. How's it going? It's going fantastic. So, uh, folks, welcome. Welcome to Tilson Live. It is Tuesday. We are here to answer all of your questions regarding Build on Your Land. So, we will be monitoring the chat as we always do. So, please put your questions in the post. Let's see right now where you're watching from, tell us tell us where you're building, tell us where you're watching from, tell us what part of the process that you're in, if you're just getting started, if you're in the, the sales and pre-construction process, if you're in construction or if you've already built and they're just stopping in to say howdy, give us a howdy in the chat. We'll be monitoring that the entire time. But mm -hmm. we have a very special plan to show you guys today. Don, what are we doing today? So we are going to show a home that we completed up in Navarro on a lake, um, the Gonzales. Um, so... Gonzalez is a super popular plan that we have. It's actually, I just checked, it's been in the top five for the last four years. Um, so very, very popular. Um, and this family made some amazing changes to it to make it make it suit their property. So very excited to show those off. So yeah, probably our most, I mean, truly quickest and easiest way to get some. If you're needing four bedrooms, mm -hmm. this is the plan you need to watch for just to get you in four bedrooms. This is a, a great way to do it. Very economical for four bedroom home, very efficient use of space. Um, so you're checking out the Gonzalez plan. This is a show you're going to want to watch. Um, we've got not only the changes this customer made, but Dawn has some very special other sneak peeks she's going to be able to show you as we go on about it though so her she and her team have done some really hard work and making sure that we can show you kind of what the stock plan looks like right, right? So yes yeah because there, there were a lot of changes made to this one so we wanted to show you what it looks like um with with the base options and, and how yeah so for those comes. of you that do ask like how come you don't have more pictures of these plans on your website and and you're gonna see why today like mm -hmm. if we were to just put this one on the website and says this is a gonzalez you might say is it this is not match the full plan. So, yeah. which is cool. That's fine. That's the, yeah. what this family needed. That's what they wanted. And that's what we're here to do is to customize it to make it your own. Um, but that's part of the reason that we're trying to try to be somewhat discretionary on just throwing floor plans and pictures up there mm -hmm. um, so that we're not, you know, misleading somebody into thinking, okay, well, it's going to all look like this. Like, no, it's not going to all look like that. Absolutely. But we'll be able to show you some compare and contrast, kind of how it started out, what they changed, and maybe what it might look like if you didn't make those changes. Um, but the changes they made are really, really fantastic. And again, if you're looking for a, a, a great way to get into a four-bedroom home or three bedrooms and you need a flex space, a study, or a work from home or a uh, remote learning type of space, we can do that. The Gonzalez mm -hmm. is a fantastic plan to do that with. So yeah, absolutely. tell us you guys where you're watching from, what part of the process you're in, where you're building, maybe what plan you're looking at. We'd love to hear from you guys. We are live on Facebook, live on YouTube, and um, can't wait to hear from all of y'all and can't wait to start seeing what this family did to this plan. Yeah, so don't get my joining us yet. We do. We have William coming in from Austin. Hey, William. Welcome. We got Janetta coming in from Houston. Okay. We got uh, Sam and Samikia. Howdy, Here we're we planning to build in Refugio County. Beautiful. And we got another friend coming in from YouTube. Howdy. Howdy. We got Rebecca saying happy Tilson Tuesday. Singley's and Kyle building in Driftwood. Oh, nice. I was there this weekend for Easter in Driftwood. Cool and John's here too, so he says hi. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> we got Faith checking in for our OSC team, all hey, of our new Faith. home specialists. Long time no talk to. It's been almost a day. I know. Um, and we've got Wesley. Um, hello and good afternoon. Watching from Phoenix, Arizona, building a Canyon Elevation seat in Greenville. Hey, Wes, Welcome, good to see Wes. you. Appreciate you. 
And we get somebody coming in from Madisonville, Texas. Awesome. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, and Wesley's saying he loves Tilson Tuesday. We love that you come and watch us. We do us. too. Uh, yeah, thanks for sharing your time with us, man. We really appreciate it. Um, we got Til we got Crystal, who built a Gonzales B in Ellis County. Awesome. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Fairly recently, if I recall. So we got Kristen. Hey, y'all, building a canyon and just signed all of our seven change orders. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got Lisa, hi from Fort Worth, building a rock wall at Possum Kingdom Lake, stakeout done, waiting for geotechnical survey and septic design. Awesome. Beautiful. We got Kenny, building a Travis in Burleson, Texas, plumbing rough in happens today. Awesome. Nice. And Burleson, Texas, one of those neat places, Don, not in Burleson County, totally different. So oh. Burleson, Texas, up, you know, south of Fort Worth, Burleson County, over by College Station. Who knew? Just to mess everybody up. That's right. Houston County is not where Houston is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Austin yep. is not in Austin, Austin County. Austin, not in Austin County. Yeah. They just like to mess with all the out-of-state people. Just That's work. our job. Ah. Keep, going to keep people on their toes. <laughs> Trying to figure it out. Then we throw places like Bernie. So we got right. we got Kim from the Bernie office coming in. You got to throw that in there to just really <laughs> know who's from town and who's not. That's right. Then we got Angela in Austin, building in Coriel County, about to pour the foundation on a Granberry. Oh, awesome. very cool. Um, and then we've got cool. Deborah looking at pl building plans for their new home. Awesome. So you've You're come to a right good, good place. Uh, Lisa says she can relate on all of Kristen's change orders. It's not yeah. a competition, guys. Like, yeah, it is it not a competition. That's golf not one rules. Rules. Yeah, not golf one you rules. want to win. <laughs> not one you want to win. Oh, and I think we have the, oh. the customer. Yep, and this is Kelly uh, Span. This is her house that we're going to see, so she's very excited to see. To and thank you for to sharing it with us too. Thank Thanks you so much, man. We appreciate it very much. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. So with that, we will go ahead and kind of start talking about the Gonzales and what the Span family did. Well, let's check it out, Don. Tell us a little bit about the Gonzales. All right. So the Gonzales, like we were talking, super popular plan. Uh, it's been in our top five for the past four years, um, and. It's, you know, good, just right under 2,000 square feet. It's got four bedrooms and two bathrooms. So like you were saying, if you want to get into a four bedroom, this is a very economical way to do that. Um, so great layout. Um, just beautiful, beautiful plan. It's got a, you know, good walk-in pantry space. Got that nice open concept kitchen. It's got kind of the division uh, between the master suite and the other bedrooms. Um, they're still, it's front to back um, divided plan, but... Uh, just very, very nice. Um, and let's see here. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that I was the one with the, with the thing. So let's look at the pictures now. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> but, all right. So the Gonzalez B typically is our traditional um, brick gable elevation. So it's going to be solid brick on three sides. Um, they did change theirs up a little bit, which we'll we'll get into. But, you know, just very good traditional just a looking plan with that good gable roof. Um, and here's the, you can actually see the floor plan I was talking about. Um, so, I'm sorry, I thought I was sharing it. I guess I was not. I know, yeah, you disappear. Um, so um, here we are, you know, you've got the nice open concept, um, family room with a breakfast nook, very nice kitchen layout, huge walk-in pantry. And then like we were talking about, it's split bedrooms front to back. So you've got your master suite on the back and there's no common wall between it and you know, the other bedrooms that you've got three additional bedrooms, all about the same size um, in the front of the home. So just a very good, good layout. Um, and I love the way, you know, you talked about the master bedroom a while ago. It, it, there are no common walls whatsoever mm -hmm. with family room, you know, even a hallway, much less another bedroom. So, I mean, it's completely surrounded by privacy. So you got right. all, all the way around. And then, of course, your view to your, your beautiful land behind you. Um, so and they're not obstructed by any offsets. It's, it's a very, very efficient design. Our drafting team hit one out of the park. I mean, it was, it was kind of a redesign of an old, old plan, but they mm -hmm. really polished it up nice and, and super great layout for folks. So, yeah, very good plan. Um, so here's what they did, which we'll talk in more detail as we they just just a couple things, you know, just a couple yeah. typical, typical Tilson changes um that they did. And we'll talk in more detail as we go through all of the rooms. I'm just kind of give gonna give like a high level. Um, one thing you'll notice that they've done throughout the home is they were very um cognizant and aware of aging in place kind of features. So this is going to be their forever dream home. So they made sure to widen all of those bedroom doors um and the bathroom doors to three feet. 
um, throughout the home. So there are some adjustments that we need to make when we we make those doors wider. They also made some changes in their master shower um, and the master bathroom layout um, to accommodate that. So we'll talk about that. Um, Kelly had a very interesting, what she calls her two non-negotiables. Um, one of the first ones was she very much wanted a Christmas tree closet, which I think is just genius. Um, and we'll show that off. But from what I understand, the plan is that she's going to have somebody come and they're going to decorate the tree. It's going to be on a tree stand that is on wheels. And when Christmas is over, we wheel it into the closet. And when it's Christmas time again, we wheel it out of the closet. And that so it's just got its brilliant. own. Yes, I think this is just genius, just absolutely if, genius. If I don't have to, you know, deadlift the Christmas tree up into the attic after the fact, it has not been Christmas at the Allard House. I can tell you that. Like, that's <laughs> yeah, well, and that's after you take the, you know, four hours to make sure every ornament goes back into the box properly. And... Oh no, 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 no! We have a hard deadline at the Allard House. <laughs> it's going up into the attic by January the tenth. Ornaments or not? <laughs> oh no! Going. <laughs> We are very different Christmas personalities, I can tell. <laughs> all my ornament boxes are like marked where they get to go. We've got to find them all and put them all away. Um, but then they also, this bedroom, bedroom number four, is a little bit bigger. So they're going to use it as an office. So they added a, a larger window here. Um, she also liked the archways that we show in some of our plans. So she changed some of the regular openings into archway openings, which we'll, we'll show throughout. Um, her second non-negotiable is she really wanted a butler's pantry um, that she could put all of her appliances into and just sort of be away so they're not cluttering up the kitchen counter, but they have a place where they live and where they're used and it's separate from everything else. So that's kind of a really nifty thing that she did um, in her pantry over here. Um, and she did some rearranging on the kitchen. Um, she really loved the rock wall kitchen. So she's gone ahead and incorporated that island, which is something um, that we do frequently, um, and we actually have a blog post on it, a list of all of the islands that we have available that you can incorporate into your kitchen. And then she also wanted you know, her double oven and, and separate cooktop, so rearranged some things, moved the refrigerator over here um, to just create that kitchen of her dreams. Um, and I'm sure everybody's kind of looking because we get this question about wraparound porches. They created one on this home, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So that was an addition uh, that they made that turned out wonderful because they could see their view of the lake from there. And um, then in the living room, they did add, um, you know, an, uh, an option from another plan. Everybody lo loves that LaSalle and Driftwood cathedral ceiling um, vaulted thing. So they did that um, in their family room. So we've got four beams running across it with the cathedral ceiling. They added the gas fireplace um, with the stone all the way to the ceiling. And then they added this massive three car garage over here on the side, which caused us to have to do some some rearranging over here, um, both to accommodate her Christmas tree closet, but also to get the utility room to connect to the garage. So we did some some maneuvering in this section of the house to make all of that work um, in the master suite. They added the stepped ceiling. And then, as I was mentioning at the beginning, they, we did some rearranging on the bathroom to make it a little bit more um, aging in place friendly. So took out, um, you know, the separate commode closet so that it would be easier to get to and took out that tub and made it a, a shower for them. So just a few, few little, little yeah, things. One or, two, one or two tweaks here and there. And actually, yeah. to be fair, all those changes that you just mentioned, they only added 10 square feet of living area. That was actually, I mean, yes. we added a lot more slab area, obviously, between the garage and wraparound porch and all that, which are fantastic. Mm -hmm. But really, every change, it's 10 square feet of actual heated cool living area. So um, just showing you, you know, while the design is sufficient to start with, they made some really great changes that worked for them. Um, and and the space was really pretty much able to accommodate that without adding a whole lot of, whole lot of space, which is good. Yeah. So hats so off to let's... Cheyenne Napo and Melissa Texas for making this happen. Great design. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and let Kelly show us her family room. Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tilson Live Tours. I'm Kelsey with Tilson and I'm here today with Kelly to talk a little bit about their customized Gonzalez Bee Home in Navarro County. So first things first, I would like to point out that she has some stellar rocking chairs. So before we go inside, just wanted to, wanted to give you a little shout out on these. All right. <laughs> this is a great front porch, it's very inviting. It is a great place to see the sunrise. <laughs> yes, well without further ado, shall we go inside? Yes, come look at our house. All right. 
Come on in. Thank you. This is a great door, by the way. This I love the is iron. Just the beautiful door. And we had a different door picked out, and we saw this on the model. And we, when we went back, and we're like, we have to have this door. Yep, got to have it. Comp people compliment that all the time. It yeah. is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just one of those last minute changes. Yes. So this is my whole, I mean, this whole open area is just awesome. This is a beautiful living room. It's Thank so you. open and warm and inviting and the, the floor to ceiling stone on this fireplace is beautiful. It is beautiful. I mean, they did an awesome job. And just to have in the open area, and it was so much fun when we went to design it because they literally, my designer, took out two of those little rolly erasing yeah. things and erased all the walls <laughs> to get everything that we wanted. Just keep the outside keep and the, erase everything right. in the middle. We're like, this is the footprint, and then we've got to take everything else yeah. out. So um, it was great. We the, we just loved the whole. We put the cathedral ceiling, mm -hmm. which just makes it even bigger and grander mm -hmm. and just beautiful. Just beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, and I like that this this has four beams. I feel like I usually just see three, mm -hmm. but the four really makes it seem a lot deeper too in the whole mm -hmm. house. Like and it really flows out to the out to the view, and from the front door mm -hmm. you walk in and you're just like wow. And I love the chunkiness. Like they're yes, chunky. Yes. They're not like little strips. It's that it's rust that on. Ch chunky, rustic, yeah, kind mm -hmm. of look. So let me show you the kitchen. All right. All right. So yeah, just beautiful. And you guys could see that that view, which is why we've got you know such large windows and everything on the home and the cathedral ceiling just just adds to it. Um, she talked a little bit about that front door. So here's kind of the shot of the foyer and that beautiful door. Um, it just just love it. It's gorgeous. Yeah, we get a lot of people opting for that that iron door, and um, yeah, that you know, not to be lost. You know, we didn't spend a lot of time on that front porch, but it is a very inviting space. And of course, like again, they're in one of the fastest growing areas uh, mm -hmm. where there's lakefront property. We're at Richland Chambers Reservoir over in Navarre County, kind of just just east of Corsicana. Um, but a, there's really, really pretty places over there. We have a lot of customers, both leaving, a lot of them moving out of the Metroplex, out of Dallas-Fort Worth, um, to have a little more space, and they have a very large lot out there. So just a really, really pretty spot. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll show you a little bit more of that, that porch later. We kind of, we end the tour there. So you can, you can see that. But this is, I wanted to show you, because we talked a lot about the changes that were made to the family room. So this is what the standard layout um, for the Gonzalez family room looks like. So you would have um, nine foot ceilings rather than the cathedral ceiling. Um, like all Tilson plans, our family room is going to include the ceiling fan um, in there, but just a beautiful large space, um, lots of room in here. And I really like what our drafting team did kind of with the standard uh, doorways here. As you can see, they went super tall on the opening that leads into the hallway to go into the master. Um, so it just adds a really interesting architectural appeal to see the two different sizes. Um, of the openings because it's taller um, than the doors usually are. And those openings when you, usually they would be um, squared off like this, but you'll see they chose to go ahead and round them off in their own, in their own home, which this is what their living room looks like. So you can see they've got the, they went with the cathedral ceiling. So it's hot, it's taller. So this, this looks shorter because the ceiling's higher, but then they arched that up and made it made those into archways um, for that and then you've got the beautiful stone fireplace right here and you know this is all a wall of windows so you can see that amazing view um, that you saw in the in the video yeah when i saw this come in it, it reminded me very much of the LaSalle um there mm -hmm. in Huntsville, texas grand ranch i mean it looked just like it across the back so well done Absolutely. on that fireplace yes. same spot all of it really pretty all right. Well, I didn't mention it before, guys, but do drop your questions into the chat. We will be answering all your questions. I know I normally say that. For those of you who, who typically watch, you know the drill. Some of you already put them in there, so that's good. But for those of you who may not, any questions you have at all about building on your land, financing, customizations, permitting, septics, what to look for in land, what questions to ask, that's what this is about. So we are, mm -hmm. of course, going to show you this beautiful home that the Spans have shared with us, but, but also ask your questions. We will answer every one of them. Yep, absolutely. But for right now, let's go ahead and look at this gorgeous kitchen. Do it. 
So this kitchen is like one of my faves. So. Uh huh. Um, I went with the dark cabinets and that we we didn't realize that we were gonna have me and my husband were gonna have a little conflict over that because he <laughs> liked white cabinets, I like dark. Um, so you compromised and got dark cabinets? We, yes, yep. <laughs> that's how it should be. So we got the dark cabinets. I put the glass in um, the couple of those yeah. little just, things. It's kind of like a display. It is, it was very nice. And because I got my dark cabinets, he got this huge island. Yes. It's massive. And it is massive. It's like a 10 foot long island. It is 10 feet, a little <laughs> over 10 feet and just wide. It is yeah. wonderful for entertaining. You can put food out, people can sit here. It's yeah. just great. Well, just and you've great. got a really big underneath space right here. So you can have people sit yes. comfortably and not have to worry about banging Without their knees any. on the back side of yes, the island. Yes, it's just, it is just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, and this backsplash really goes well with the granite and the counters. Yeah, we, um, it was a no-brainer picking that because mm -hmm. it was just the colors that I like, those earthy, deep colors. Yeah. It goes great, really Yeah, great I mean, all of your colors go really well together. The floors even tie in with everything. It's all very warm. Yes, it is. So you mentioned before that you had a couple non-negotiables. I did. So one of my non-negotiables was to have a butler's pantry. A butler's because pantry. Because I love this clean look of yes. not having my appliances on it. Yes. So let me show you that. Okay. Oh yeah, this is and awesome. So this is great. This is where I can put my mixer, mm -hmm. my toaster, everything's here. It's got the window in here, so it's not like you're going into a closet. It's yeah. light and bright. And you um, have the plugs too, so you don't have to take yes. them back out into the kitchen to yes. use anything. You can just use them I'm right here. I'm just going to be in here, and it's really great because when you have an open house like this, sometimes my husband's trying to watch football and I'm running the mixer, Yeah. so he, I can close the door if I want to, but I love this this was one of my non-negotiables yeah I had. this is great yeah all right let's go check out maybe okay. the bedrooms yes let me show you our master there you go so may i take a moment to point out how bright mr span is <laughs> painted cabinets and she wanted dark stain and i think we all can agree with what they ended up with brilliant husband yeah just brilliant very, very smart. Um, in honor of him, I'll, I'll show our, our rendering of the standard kitchen has painted cabinets in it for him. So here's your white he cabinets, Mr. Span. <laughs> but this is what the kitchen would normally look like. Just wanted to give everybody a visual because we talk a lot about we moved this and we moved that. So this is where everything, you know, would be with the standard layout before you start moving yeah. things around. So even the standard um, island in the Gonzalez plan is very large, but it's it's not the rock wall island which is what no, she wanted so um she went ahead and added that in and then like like i was talking about earlier you know there were some things this is where the refrigerator would would be normally um so just wanted to kind of show what the space would look like um standard and then versus what what they did um which is that huge huge rock wall island um in there they did the three pendant oh. lights um, over it and then customize a lot of this cabinetry, which they went with the separate oven from the cooktop. So that moves the microwave over here too. So it kind of created that extra set of cabinets, um, which meant we needed to move the refrigerator over into this space versus where, where it was before. Um, so just shows that. And then I, I love the inclusion of the glass um, cabinets up here to kind of have that, that nice display. Um, going, but just absolutely gorgeous kitchen. I love all the changes. And, and as you said, very, very smart that they, they made the compromise and got the cabinets <laughs> that she wanted. <laughs> and I love how his victory is the large island, which is clearly not a victory for Mrs. Span, for sure. <laughs> yes, very smart. And then this is just a picture of that um, butler's pantry, which usually there would be um, some shelving and you know, wrapping around in the corner, but instead she added this counter space there with the electrical outlet so it's just a great space for for them to have all their stuff away and you know she mentioned you know KitchenAid mixers are very loud blenders are very loud things like that so it's nice to be able to if you are having a lot of people out in that open space be able to kind of shut off that noise but also have you know all of your baking stuff very close at hand and just easy to easy to handle so yeah, that's probably the prettiest pantry i've ever seen yes it's... yeah it's beautiful it's gorgeous i i definitely have pantry envy um, with this one <laughs> It's very nice. It's a great idea. Absolutely. But let's Any check questions? in. I can see we have some comments and questions. So well, let's try to help these folks. Guys, put yeah. your questions in the chat. We will answer them. Put them on there. 
All right, we got Gina checking in. She's building a canyon in Stockdale. They are staking and designing right now. Awesome. awesome. It's a fun time. Um, we've got Jill, Julie uh, building a Whitney farmhouse in Bowie um, in Montague County. Montag, sorry, Montag. Oh, I'm getting all the pronunciations. I really need that talk like a Texan. I need them need to bring that back for me because it just... Ever, I learn something new every day. But um, Julie, thank you, thank you for yes, the very you. kind way of yeah of, of helping. I'm us. telling Dawn she's been saying it wrong for about three months now. <laughs> uh, All right, Bowie in Montag County. All right, got it. Um, then we have Will um, coming in from Klondike. Just stop by real quick to say hi. Got to get back to getting stuff done before the rain comes. Oh, in. We're getting rain. That's good. Well, All right. Um, we got David. Um, howdy, friends. The Christmas howdy, tree David. closet is brilliant. Yes. I'm glad we got lots of footage like that. Um, and John also agrees. Christmas tree closet, awesome idea. We've got Jackie. Um, hello, we're waiting on insulation in my San Jacinto B in Waller County. I'm curious to know why gas ovens are not offered for wall units if the cooktop is also gas. Oh, that's a great question, Jackie. I'm glad you asked. Uh, so, and they are but in a very, very, very small size that you would not be happy with. Mm. Uh, so gas ovens that are built into a wall these days, the, and actually as far as, as long as I can remember, go back 20, 25 years, the largest you can get, the only one you can get is 24 inch wide, which okay. is, you probably have cookie sheets that are more than 24 inches wide, never yeah. mind actual something to, to bake something in. So when you start, if you want anything bigger than a 20, and I don't even know if any manufacturers still make 24 inch gas oven, but that was the only thing they were offered in for the longest time. And so most customers, I don't know of any customers that want anything less than a, at least a 27. And all we typically, if we're doing a combo like that, it's a 30 inch oven. Mm -hmm. um, so typically it's a 33, 33 inch wide cabinet at minimum that'll hold a 30 inch uh, oven. And they just do not offer gas. Like manufacturers don't make gas ovens. I don't know if there's something to do with the size, not be able to heat it right. The only time I've seen you be able to get um, something even remotely like that is if you're doing a big, you know, one of the big 30 six 42 48 inch one piece dual fuel and even then the dual fuel is typically that yeah the cooktop is gas but the oven is typically a convection electric convection oven um so it's just not it's just not a thing in, in the industry hmm, um interesting and it, it never has been so it's it's um again 24 inch is about the only size gas oven i've ever seen and that's really just not big enough um, yeah that would be very it, disappointing right, it looked out of scale in like you know 40 years ago in 15, 1600 foot houses. I can't imagine it in the kitchen like uh, what the Spans did or yeah, one of our regular absolutely. homes. All right, good to know. Um, we got Julie um, commenting that Cheyenne is great. She helped us design our house in Coriel County. Awesome. Beautiful. We have a question from YouTube. What determines whether an engineered eye joist is used versus two by sixes, such as in a garage? Okay, uh, great question. So we have some span tables that we, so you got a building code, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and so we've got the span tables kind of set up in our design drafting department and their, their team has what the span tables are for various, not only sizes or dimensions of, of lumber, but this actual species determines. So, you know, uh, SPF or spruce pine fir may have a different load than southern yellow pine. Um, so I mean, we've got the span tables of what the building code allows for a 2 by 6 2 by 8 2 by 10 2 by 12 all will carry. Um, and typically the larger, so the span tables are what determine it, to answer the question in short. Um, you do have some options when you start to get over to the larger span. So for instance, in a garage, we can still do two by 12s. I mean, you can put a couple of Versa lambs or glue lambs, some type of large laminated beam in there, uh, okay. engineered wood product as the main load bearer. And then you can use some uh, joist hangers coming off of there, going in both directions. Those would hold your ceiling joists. Um, and those can still be probably two by 12s. Um, in some cases, probably even two by 10s. We prefer to go with the eye joist because they're all made the same. Um, right. So these days, lumber, particularly well, all lumber, but particularly southern yellow pine and spruce pine and fir (SPF) um, are fast growth. Um, in other words, they're they're it's a business, right? They're harvested right. younger than they were 40, 50, 60, 70 years ago. You know, we were harvesting 100 and 200 year old trees. Now we're harvesting 10, 12, 14, 18 year old trees. So, um, and actually, the span tables have come down. So a tuba six that was harvested this year does not have the same, it won't span the same distance as a tuba six harvested in 1985, for instance. I know you get a little okay. down. So 
um, because they are harvested younger, um, they tend to, in our experience, uh, have some a crown to them or maybe a bow to them when you get those longer spans. So those 16, 18, 20, 22, 24 foot two by tens and two by twelves, they'll technically carry the load. Um, but you're not going to have as nice, smooth, even finish on a big open span, like the ceiling of your garage um, mm-hmm. or the ceiling of a big family room as you would if you used a Boise Cascade eye joist. Certainly the case if we're going to be using a second story. So if you're getting a house that's got a, a bonus room above, we're almost always going to, in fact, I think as far as we, we always use, um, I'll say almost always because this is on social media. We almost <laughs> always use uh, eye joists and really that's so that, you know, you don't have the squeak. So it's right. okay to have a crown in a piece of lumber. That's perfectly natural. Mm-hmm. You try to put all the crowns up. So in the same direction, so that over time, the weight kind of pushes it down. So if you see like an empty 18 wheeler trailer, it's kind of got a little hump yep, to it. Got that bow to when it. You load it down, it, it's level. Um, very similar concept uh, when you're talking about putting lumber for floor joists, but we like it where they're all perfectly straight. They're all made the same. They're all made in the factory. And when they, you know, when we get there and put them all up, we guarantee it's going to be a flat finish on the ceiling below and on the floor above that's going on. So over time, you don't have the, you know, mm-hmm. when you're yeah. trying to sneak out of the house when you're a teenager. And you, anyway, <laughs> you don't want that to happen. Um, that results in, in disciplinary action, as they say. <laughs> So uh, in some cases, direct disciplinary action. So that's that's the real, it's, it's really kind of up to the code, number one, mm-hmm. and then a builder's preference as to whether they want to use a tube of 12 or go with some kind of eye joist. We yeah. prefer the eye joist. Okay. All right. We've got Armand um, checking in from Missouri Hola. City. <laughs> Julie's saying she's here to be helpful to us. So Julie, whatever else I mispronounce, just let me know. I know we'll fix it. We always want to improve. Uh, so Sam is asking, when are the loan fees collected using the Easy Buy program? Um, so at the end, when the when the home, so the, you got an appraisal up front, which is part of an application fee. They do take an mm-hmm. application fee up front that almost completely is to pay for the appraisal, um, and then you don't actually have any other kind of closing costs or anything until the house is finished. You've done your walkthrough, and the closing is scheduled at the title company. So then when you go there, they'll let you know typically you know, a week or so out what the if, if there is an amount you have to bring to closing, what that amount is. Um, but a lot of our customers don't have to bring anything to closing. Um, so it just depends on on um, the situation. But the application fee is collected up front, the pays for the appraisal, and then everything else is at the end. Great question. Okay. All right. Um, Rebecca says that seeing this beautiful home makes me want our home to be finished now. Can't wait. Um, That's too, Rebecca. We want it done. Yes, we know it's hard to be patient. So thank you for, for your patience. It'll be worth it when we're when we're done. Um, and then our YouTube friend that was asking about the iJoyce looks like he has a three car garage with two versatile lamps dividing it into three sections with all two by sixes in each section. I was just wondering why iJoyce worked. worked yeah, so the versatile lamps were are actually carrying the load in that situation. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's a great that's a great point. So the versatile lamps are carrying the load. Uh, we don't have a live load of any kind above uh, for the iJoyce. And I will also tell you, right now, Engineer Wood products difficult take to a get. really long time. <laughs> yeah, if they're available at all. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we've had to call some audibles in situations where we ordinarily would have used eye joists, um, and have had to default over to uh, conventional dimensional lumber. Which again, the code allows for that; it will work. Um, so while we have a preference one way. You know, sometimes you got to change something or, or let the house sit for. 15 weeks, 20 weeks with nothing happening. Um, and nobody wants that. When when we know by code, another piece of lumber will actually carry the load. Okay. So, and again, really the tube of sixes in your particular situation, all they're doing is holding the sheetrock. Um, mm-hmm. The, the versatile lambs themselves are holding the weight of the roof up. Okay. Great question. All right. That makes sense. Well, let's take a look at this gorgeous master suite. So this is our bedroom, our master bedroom. Uh-huh. So there's not a real lot we did in this room, but we did add the, um, the step, step ceiling. ceiling. Yeah, yes. that looks really great. Yes. And it just adds a little pop to this room, I think. Yeah, and a little extra height too, yes. especially in a room that's not quite as large mm-hmm. as some of the other bedroom options. This just allows it to feel yes. a little spacious and great. Yes. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then you've got these two windows here that look mm-hmm. out to your 
your view. Yes, my You've got view. great views in every single room. Every house. room, that's right. It does have good views. <laughs> and then in here we have the And then bathroom. we have our master bath. Okay, let's go check that out. Okay. So this is the master bathroom. Awesome, and this door is huge. Yes. So it's really tall. We're old folks, so part of what we were thinking about, because this is like a retirement home, is we wanted the higher doors because it yeah. makes it look bigger, but we also got wider doors. So yes. if I was in a wheelchair or a walker someday, we can do it. And we did the same thing with the um, shower. Mm -hmm. We put the grab bars and a bench in there yeah. just to help with as we get older. And then one of my other favorites are the stone on the bottom. Is yes. that cool? The river rock. Yes. It's like a little massage on your feet when it you stand on it. It is wonderful. I love it. Wonderful. And you've got the little cutout in there as well with the deco tile. Mm -hmm. And then same cabinet, same countertops. This is just a really pretty and functional yes. bathroom. Still went with the dark. Yep. All right. Well, let's go check out the other side All of right. the house. Come on. All right. Yeah, aging in place is, is something we hear about quite a bit these days. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, you know, it's, it's a real thing, right? I mean, everybody wants their independence. Um, and that's kind of what the, the spirit of who we're building for <laughs> broadly is a very, an independent minded folk. So why not figure out a way, if, if you can, to the degree that it's appropriate for you, you know, build a situation where you can you can age in place. That's what I mean. You can age in this home. I mean, they're obviously yeah. clearly able bodied now. Um, so but but thinking down the road a little bit smart yeah always good to plan ahead um because it's much harder to come in and change those things after the fact than it is to just adjust them before you build so it's, it's great to see that and um, so this is their master bedroom and just showing that step ceiling um uh, that they added in there just adds a nice gorgeous touch um to the space um and then this is what the standard bathroom um would look like in the gonzales in the, in the layout that's included so you'd normally have your bathtub here um, with your shower shower in there and the single vanity uh, single sink on a really large vanity top you've got you know big cabinetry and then it's not in this picture because it's very hard to take a picture um, of it um, in that when you're doing the rendering, but there is, you know, the, the closet with um, your toilet kind of here. So that's that's separated into its private space. So good, good size master bathroom. Um, it's efficient. But then these are the changes um, that they made. So this is their final bathroom. So they took out the tub and just made it the walk in shower um, with the bench area in there. Um, and they mentioned the, they put the grab bar. Um, and for the aging in place and then put in a double vanity. So they've got the two sinks um, in the space and then took away that wall just to make it a little bit easier um, where where the toilet is just to make it easier um, in the future um, to not have that that kind of sectioned off and taken out a few few of the doors that would have been in the space. Um, one of the other things that happened in the standard layout, you would have a second um, master closet um, through this space. Um, but because we made that change for the garage that I talked about earlier, we put the utility room there. So they actually made their master closet on the other side kind of twice as big to make up for that space. Yeah. So very good changes. But yeah. let's go ahead and see the rest of the, the bedrooms and inside of the house. Let's check it out. Guys, keep asking your questions. Yeah, absolutely. Put them in the chat. So I told you about my second non-negotiable. Mm -hmm. This is it. This big tall Behind this door. door. Behind this door. This gigantic door. Yes. All right. So this was my second non-negotiable, and it was to have a Christmas tree closet <laughs> so that I can roll out my Christmas tree. Already decorated. Already decorated, <laughs> and when I get done, roll it back in. That and is so, that's so smart. All that's this big closet is for. Oh, and you've got a light in here and everything. Yes. That is awesome. That is yes. a genius idea. Yes. So I've not seen I that done it. before. Props to you for that. Thank you. <laughs> and I'll remember that when it gets to be Christmas time. Yep, and it's going to be show, so easy. Yes, I'll show you our bedrooms Okay. Now. So this, we, as you noticed, we put all of our bedrooms on this side of the yes. house. Um, the opposite side is the master, so you have, yes, kind of have that separation. We have the separation. Um, close to the guest bathroom. Mm -hmm. So we have the three bedrooms here. One of them we'll use as an office. And we made these rooms not overly big because yeah. um, 
you know, fish and companies start to stink after three days. <laughs> so if there's no dresser or anything, then there's then no there's reason, no for, them reason to for them to overstay. You're welcome. But they do all have uh, queen size beds in them. Yeah. So they're perfect for guests. Yeah, it, it is the perfect space for guests. Yes. And are all three bedrooms the same ish size? About the same size, yep. A little, there may be just a little bit of difference, yeah. but they're all basically the same. All have the beautiful windows. Yeah, with our they lake also view. have a view. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Even on the other side of the house, you got to be. That's right. You got 360 views. Yes. That's great. So let me show you the utility room. Okay. So this is the fine utility room, mm -hmm. which we love too. Um, Rumi has the same cabinets yes. again. Yep. Um, and tons of storage space in here. Tons. All this, all this. It's Plus just, room for a fridge or yep. a freezer if you wanted to put one there. We're still on the line, what we're going to do with that hole. Yeah. <laughs> in the meantime, it's just to create empty space. That is an empty space right yes. now. Extra storage for boots. Yes. <laughs> so, and then that's the um, door for the garage. So, okay. you want to go out there? Yeah, let's okay. go check that out. So, this is our garage. We added um, the three-car garage out yeah. to the house. And it just gives us a lot of room. You know, my husband's got the zero turn and mm -hmm. um, just... It just is a lot of room for our yeah. vehicles. Storage for tools, storage yes. for cars, storage for all the extra the mess stone that, that we you have. Still have. <laughs> all the mess we have out here. Yeah, well, at least you've got plenty of space if you wanted to put in cabinets or That's right. shelving, then mm -hmm. you've, you've got room yes, for it. Definitely. For sure. So let me show you while we're on the outside, let me show you one of our very favorite places. We added um, our outdoor patio. Okay, let's go check that out. All right. But not yet. Yes, but first, let's talk about the Christmas tree closet. Let's talk about this. This is, this is absolutely genius. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. And again, because while, and I'll be the first to admit my guilt, Yes, you can store things in attics. They are not designed for storage. Mm -hmm. They're just not. Um, they're not designed to carry live loads. So live load being someone walking around. Uh, dead load means it just sits there. Mm -hmm. They have By code, they carry some degree of weight, but it's not really designed for tons and tons and tons. We don't, don't be taking safes and <laughs> heavy things up to your attic. It's not what they're designed for. Um, plus, you throw your back out, it's uncomfortable, you step through a ceiling, who knows? Well, it's uh, not conditioned space, so like with, with those special Christmas ornaments that you've had forever, it's not the best place to put them in anyway, because they just right. break down. Like, it's, yep. this, is, so this is brilliant. And I love the idea of decorating the tree once and then just getting to roll man, it do, yeah, that's, yeah. I As might participate in tree decorating if that were a rule in my house. But. <laughs> yeah, David is saying that this is one of the top three customizations he's seen in a house. Like, it was just absolutely yeah. brilliant. And Ms. Spain, you'll have to share pictures of, a, like, we're all now going to want to see the tree decorated. Not so much in the living room, although that'd be pretty too, but we have to see, like, at least a five-second video of you moving. Yeah, in January, we want to see you putting the tree away. January 10th. <laughs> <laughs> no judgment. Whatever day you want to put it away. <laughs> It's fine with me. Um, and then we just wanted to show you the their secondary bedrooms that she's talking about. So they're good, they're good size rooms, but they're not so large that your guests are gonna get overly comfortable. But I mean, if you can and fit I a queen size bed in a room, it's not that's and a repeat her quote big about bedroom. fish and guests start yes. to stink after three days. Like she and I would get along marvelously. I know. So that's smart. Funny. And then this is the room that they mentioned they're going to be using as an office. So they changed the windows in there to get a little bit, a little bit more interesting and just a little bit more light. Um, Perfect. So that's a Perfect. great space. Um, we didn't show it in the video, but there is another bathroom for all those guests that aren't staying more than three days. Um, but here's that, that space for them. Um, and then here's that utility room that she was talking about that they did, you know, add in the cabinets above that are the same, you know, from the kitchen and the rest of the home. And then they've got a, you know, nice workspace next to the, the washer and dryer to fold the clothes and, and do whatever. So lots of storage, really great space. And then that door leads into that garage um, that everybody loves. Yeah, and so a uh, couple of things, guys. I know we've shown you a lot of different rooms and a lot of space. Mm -hmm. A lot like this is all done in just over two thousand square feet of living area. Yeah. So for all those of you who think you need twenty five hundred, three thousand, thirty six hundred square feet, like everything we've shown you so far, is in right at two thousand square feet of living area. So mm -hmm. 
kudos to the spans for doing, I mean, and Cheyenne for efficient, really, really good use of the space. Um, yeah. and again, I mean, virtually empty nest, right? So I mean, how much space do you really need? Put it where it counts, which you're going to show here in just a second. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's one of the things I really love about this plan is that all the rooms are like just the right size for what you need. Mm -hmm. Like you're not walking around like a, a lot of homes that I look at that are larger. It's like, did you really need, like, what are you doing with that big of a bathroom or, you know, you're, you're, you're heating and cooling it. Did you really need it though? Um, so I, I really like, really like that space. Um, Miss Span is sharing that she bought a mattress bag for a moving company that she's going to cover the Christmas tree, but she will send us a Beautiful. video when we're, when we're putting that away. So that's awesome. Um, and let's see, I think we got another couple quick questions before okay. we go see the outside. Um, Wes is asking if we have any update on changes in brick deliveries. Um, his building supervisor said there's a Tilson VP that is working possibly to get brick from another source. Oh, we have more than just a Tilson VP working on that. I mean, yes. we've, got, <laughs> we've got our director of vendor management, our vice president of construction for North Texas, senior vice president of construction, Justin, those guys. I mean, yes, we, <laughs> we need solutions. So um, and that, and that's just brick, uh, Mr. Bass. I mean, there's, there's other things too, but yeah, I know that's mm -hmm. the one you're feeling on, on your job site for sure. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a struggle. I mean, it's, it's been that way. Actually, that's been that way since the freeze, February right. 21, um, brick has been a real, real struggle. So, but we will, we'll work through it and yeah, we're looking for alternatives. Okay. Uh, we have a question from YouTube. Is there anything an owner can do at the framing stage to help future pest control, such as Boracare or roach powder treatment at framing base plate before sheetrock? Is that allowed or discouraged? Okay, so yes, you can. Now, a couple of things we already do. So mm -hmm. um, we, we have an agreement with ABC uh, Pest Control, I think at Pest Pool and Lawn. And, anyway, ABC, you can look them up. Aggie owned and operated. So they, we, but they, they do a, uh, a surface bore, bore care type treatment on all of our homes. So, and what's treated is the inside, the inside of the exterior wall all the way around. Okay. About two feet up. So they spray that. And then two feet up on any lumber where there's a plumbing penetration. So anywhere a sink drains down. So sinks, tubs, uh, anywhere that happens where it meets up inside of a, of a two by four, two by six wall. Those are also going to be treated. Now, your toe plate is all pressure treated, so that's already mm -hmm. treated for termites, rotting, all that kind of stuff. But, but still, that is sprayed up two feet uh, anywhere there's a plumbing penetration in the slab and uh, all the way around the exterior on the inside. Now, if there's something additional you want to do, you can certainly ar arrange for that. Um, you know, I, I would I would at least call and give your superintendent, your builder, a heads up just so we don't, you know, we want to know what they're going to be putting in there or when they're going to be doing it so that we're not, you know, we put all your insulation there and they come spray the insulation and maybe they don't want to spray the insulation. I just don't know enough about some of those right. uh, pest control treatments. Or we know. see something weird and are like, what is this? Yeah. 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 But, but we do a, at least a, a base level of more care treatment on every single home that we build. It's actually required by the code. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Truth be told, if, if, if termites are something you're really, really worried about, or if you have experience with them, or they've been on your property before and you know they're going to be there, the best, the best thing, the best insurance against that is really a regular treatment plan with a, right. a pest control company. Doesn't have to be ABC, although they're very capable. Um, but some, and, and the reason for that is, this is a weird way to say it. All the good stuff's been outlawed. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Everything, <laughs> yeah. everything that'll last That's a long fair. time to, to, to be pesticides is the EPA has kind of cracked down on like, hey, maybe chemicals shouldn't last for 40 years in the ground. Maybe. Maybe that's bad for other things. But chlordane was good stuff. Boy, it was awesome. <laughs> but it is no more. It is not legal. You can only get it in Mexico. But if you... Not so you I'm should. saying that to say that the stuff they're going to treat your house with, even on a regular basis, it has a half-life. It has a shelf life. Um, it's only good for so long. Same thing with the stuff that we're spraying. So it, mm -hmm. it's only good for a certain amount of time. Um, so if it's something you're really, really, really concerned with, that's the best way to do that is to get on a regular treatment plan. Um, there's not going to be anything out there you can put down that's going to last forever. Um, yeah. that's, it's just outlawed. So it's not a thing. But He's asking when does that um, ABP, ABC pest treatment happen? So it, it, it happens in the frame stage. Um, okay. So I will get with your building superintendent and find out. And, and, and I'm saying it's ABC. I think we use them statewide. I could be wrong, you know, given what 
given the times, we're going to be using somebody that can just get out there and, and get it done. So uh, it's done, it's, but it's done during the frame stage, obviously after okay. the bulk of the walls are up. All right. Um, Laura and Andy are asking, do you offer an 18 by eight garage door? So we do uh, a couple of stipulations to that. You have to have at least a nine foot ceiling in your garage to do that. Okay. Which, um, most of ours, that's not an issue. Uh, also, we are not able to offer that in windstorm areas. So if you are in a windstorm county, a county that borders the Gulf of Mexico, with the exception of Jackson County, because it's not a windstorm county for whatever reason, <laughs> um, they, it, it won't meet the code. You cannot, have, you cannot have that much exposed surface area in a windstorm mm -hmm. uh, area. But everywhere else, yes, we can offer an 18 foot wide by 8 foot tall uh, overhead garage door. Okay, awesome. As long as we can get them. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of things that are hard to get. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So let's show what everybody came for. Let's do the exterior and this gorgeous wraparound porch. All right. All right. While we're out here, let's talk a little bit about the exterior of your house. Yeah. So we got to pick the colors, which was fun. Yeah. But who thinks about picking a brick color? Uh, not me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we went again with the earthy yeah the earthy colors and i like this color a lot and it goes really well with the white stone the stone is beautiful mm -hmm. and be having that inside the house and uh, you'll see some more on the patio yeah so is it the same stone that's on your fireplace yes yes awesome and then over here did you change anything about the exterior or um we changed this window okay yeah it's got a little bit of yep. an arch um, this is a bedroom, front bedroom window, one of the bedrooms we were in. Uh -huh. um, but we're going to be using it in an office. Okay. So we just gotcha. put the little bit bigger window in for more light. And then... Um, the wood yeah. underneath the gables. That looks really that nice. chunky yep. redwood again. That you we love just the chunky loved. wood. I did love that <laughs> wood, yes. Yeah, that's really nice. I yeah. like that a lot. So then let's go ahead and go to the patio because that's one of our favorite places to hang out. All right. All right. Well, this wraparound porch is awesome. It is. I mean, we, we get quite a few questions from customers about if they can do a wraparound porch, and this is kind of the best way to do it, is just have it around the front going right to your back patio. It is, and it gave us this little alcove here where we can put the grill. Everything's covered, yeah. so there's no weather yeah, issues. Yeah, it's all protected. No rain, no sun and plenty of lighting yes. and a fan if it yes. gets too warm then you can still be out yes. here and be comfy and this is just an awesome outdoor living space yeah this is like adding another room to our house yes truly it really is <laughs> it and, is i mean you can even come out here and roast s'mores yes you can you don't have to have too big of a fire you or can. anything like that yes <laughs> what has been your favorite part about starting with the design and then kind of watching your house come up from the ground up we changed so many things inside the house mm -hmm. Like we weren't locked into this is your bedroom, this has to be this, this yeah. has to be that. Just being able to, I mean, literally, it took us so many tries to try to fit in my two non-negotiables <laughs> <laughs> to get that Christmas tree closet and yeah. the butler's pantry. But that having that option was like huge. Yeah. Really big. Having the option to customize your house. Yes. To fit your needs exactly yes. how you want it to be. And you know, with the way that our property sits, we wanted the house set in a certain position. Mm -hmm. So that was, you know, when they came to stake it out, it was like, well, we think your front door should be over here. And then I'm like, yeah, okay. And so we were like, no, because we, <laughs> no, we want the front door right we here. Want, yeah, <laughs> we're like, no, because we're missing this whole point yeah. of the lake view and having this outside space because this is really the main place where mm -hmm. we probably will spend our time and just that they could you know customize it with yeah we can add that big patio that was just like okay we're in yeah there, there's a saying that don and eric like to say and it's if it does not defy the laws of physics then chances are we can do it <laughs> Yeah, you know, we did have one part, and um, they called us when it went to the, I don't know, where at what point it goes to, like mm -hmm. the architect or wherever, and they're like, oh, because you vaulted your ceiling and have that big window, we're going to have to put a two-foot wall there. And I'm like, oh, no. Like, there's <laughs> just going to be this little stick out. And I was like, oh, no. I was like, okay, well, we got to have what we have. Done. And then it wasn't, I don't think it was a week, and they called back and go, we figured it out. We don't have that little jut out wall. And I was like, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. That was a win. It gets to stay the way that you imagined yes. it. Yes. So um, they just, and I got to tell you, Tilson has t definitely just 
over delivered on the promises that they made. Chance was just a wonderful builder and kept us in the loop all the time. And yeah. It was, it's just been a wonderful experience. I would highly recommend them for sure. Oh, thank you so much. And yes. I really do appreciate you allowing us to come yes. out here and showing us around your house and getting to see everything that you did with it. And you truly did a wonderful job of designing this well, house. Thank you. We're, we're quite proud of it. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Okay. Well, thank you all for watching and we hope to someday soon make you part of the Tilson family. All Pretty right. cool. Yes. So thank you, Mrs. Fan, for yes. letting us show off your home and sharing that with us. Um, appreciate yeah, the kind words. Um, yeah. Shout out to Chance and to Cheyenne for putting that together. And Nufi doing the site evaluation and site mm -hmm. prep. And, and Kelsey for doing that. And monitoring the chat, guys. That's It's Kelsey that it helps us answer that chat and kill was she was a snakeskin boots I, I know i was gonna say that she gave them a shout out for the rocking chairs so i was gonna give her a shout out for the boots so these were amazing right? amazing boots yes well done well done so yeah folks that's uh the, the gonzalez is a very 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 versatile mm -hmm. plan as you saw like they started out with you know um our base plan which is super efficient as it is and then did i mean a ton of changes and still able yeah. to keep it inside the footage so the wraparound porch Again, we get asked that like you and, and uh, sorry, Kelsey both said it just all the time. It can be done. Uh, yes. There's different ways to do it. So. Yeah. So this is the changes that they they did make to that exterior. Um, you know, I mentioned you know, up the front that this is usually all brick. Um, they did add the stone wainscot um, to it. Uh, they, and also added in the um, rough sawn brackets there um, to add that and then uh, you know made this window a little bit bigger and you know that huge huge wraparound porch um that's just absolutely amazing i mean it's just beautiful yeah beautiful home with that all the great views you can see lake 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 yeah. <laughs> everywhere so yeah it's just a great space this is the back of the home um and then that beautiful custom porch um, that they went ahead and added in that fireplace that you saw there, which was just a great addition to it. Which is a, it's a whole other living area, right? I mean, it's, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at it on the final plans and it's almost the same size as their family room. Uh, mm -hmm. It certainly is. It is the same, you know, front to back and just a little bit, not quite as wide, but not much. Yeah. Um, so an entire outdoor living space uh, added, which is really, really great. And I loved hearing your story about, you know, how we we went back and forth on getting that design just perfect because I just I'd love to hear how our teams, you know, kind of trying to figure everything out and, yeah. and make it work. And, you know, just it's a good reminder to everybody, you know, when we're when we're there for stakeout, we're gonna suggest to you one way to do it. But if you really want it another way, we are gonna, you know, we can accommodate that. So let's have make sure we have those conversations. Um so just awesome. So very excited that we got to got to share this with everybody. Yes. Thank you. Uh, we have a very important question for you, Eric. Are you an Aggie? <laughs> I'm I not am, sure how man. Ann figured that out. But. Fighting Texas Aggie class of 2002, Corps Cadets Company F2. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, definitely an Aggie. Glad I went there because the best thing I got out of Texas A&M, my wife, Rachel. So <laughs> that's where I met her. And yeah, that's probably the best. I mean, I got a degree and all that kind of stuff too and great experience and memories and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I got a fantastic patient angel. I've met Rachel. I agree. <laughs> Best thing you've, you've ever gotten. So. Yeah. yeah. Thoughts and prayers uh, for my wife, Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> we got Jackie very excited about, about the Span's dog. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think this is like the second or third one where we're like, our, that outdoor space is definitely a dog's domain and they're, they're staring us down when we're out there. So. Yes. Yeah. I've been to some of these uh, um, testimonials and the, and the dogs like, what are you doing in my house? Like, excuse me. <laughs> you, why are you here? This is my room. What are you doing? Sure. Uh, we got Lisa commenting. That's a beautiful home. Um, thank you. It absolutely is. Yeah. Um, we have Oliver. Love you guys. What would be the added cost from original price with all these customized changes? So I don't have it uh, pulled up, Don, in, in, uh, in our pricing system. I do know that it um, doesn't matter because it was two years ago, probably. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't make a hill of beans, but uh, I mean, you know, it's definitely going to be in the tens of thousands of dollars. I mean, the garage alone, right? Is, right. Is, yeah. You're talking almost 
900 square feet, um, right. 800 square feet of garage. So yeah, it's, it's in the, it's in the 70,000 plus range of, yeah. of additions. But again, you start with an efficient design like the Gonzalez and you can afford to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, so instead of, instead of, you know, starting out in the, in the 500, 600, 700,000 range, which, Hey, some people want to start there and that's, that's, that's totally their prerogative and I'm glad they can. So, yeah. but yeah, you don't have to start there to get everything that you want. So that's a great question. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the best thing to do would be to go to your local design center, tell them you you saw this video, they can pull up the actual plans and, and start figuring some of it out for you. All right. Um, so I know that the sill seal is used between bottom plates and slab. Would caulking the joint be of additional benefit for air sealing and bugs? Is that allowed by owner at the owner's expense, of course? Okay, so that's really a great question to ask your superintendent because um, okay. we're doing, I, I don't know exactly where you're building, if it's climate zone two, climate zone three, because there's some things that we have to do uh, mm-hmm. for it to be compliant with climate zone two or three. And um, without knowing the specifics, the best thing to do is talk to your building superintendent. I know we've done that in the past, uh, but it was a totally different energy code um, at right. the time. So uh, we've done it all kinds of different ways. Um I'd say if, it's, if we're doing spray foam, it's probably not necessary for you to do mm-hmm. that. That um, stuff's going to seal itself. Yeah, it's going to seal it pretty good. So, you know, and again, and, and the other thing is, I mean, critters like that are after food. Um, so if, if um, don't let your kids in the Oreo cookies. If you're efficient like I am with the Oreo cookies, there are no crumbs anywhere. There's no evidence <laughs> left behind. I'm very quiet about the little, even though Oreos tried to rat me out with the mean saran wrap loud opening thing that my yes. can hear from like 40 feet away. Well, I'm and they're in that plastic. So there's like no way to take one out. Um, oh, right. Oh, oh, there is a way. Well, no, <laughs> one, you're right. No, no, who takes one Oreo out? They're kind of, no, we don't take one Oreo out. One does not simply give you a Oreo. It, but there's a way to grab two, even from the mm. outside row. See, if you want to see how cookie packaging should be, Girl Scout Thin Mints. Like, that is the way. I still argue that one sleeve is a serving size, but whatever. Yeah, and if putting mint and chocolate together weren't such a heresy, I would allow it. But that's not Uh-oh. a thing. Oh, no. That's a hill <laughs> I will die on, sir. Those go together. So this is the last call for questions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, All we right, have, uh... let's move on to less controversial topics. Um, <laughs> Julie says that Newfie was great. He is great. Newfie's awesome. And those are Kelsey's favorite pair of boots. So one of her favorite pairs. Um, then we got we got some we got shears, we got gigum, oh. then we got a little bit of controversy, hook them. Well, so we'll just move know, on. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> uh, Wesley is asking, is there a way to put a three-car garage on a canyon that has a front-facing garage? Um yeah. So yeah, I mean, you just if your property is wide enough. Yeah, and and wherever your building allows for it. So if you're in the middle yeah. of nowhere, it probably doesn't matter. If you're in a D district or subdivision, we're finding more and more of them won't allow front load. They want a side load garage. They don't want right. to see overhead doors from the street. Um, but if that's not the case, West, you can just come out like with the with the uh, the custom option that's on there now. You can just do that one, and then probably add another twelve or fourteen feet to it, and put the doors on the front instead of on the side. Mm-hmm. Um, wouldn't be a big deal. All right. For us. All right. Um, Anne is sharing that her she and her Aggie are looking to build in Richland Ooh. Park in Mildred. Ooh, Mildred, Mildred is, yeah. Awesome. Um, Julie is sharing her love for that porch. Yeah. yeah. Awesome space. We got Kelsey being being not mindful of her employment and, and look. <laughs> I'll let her. I'll let it slide. Her sister played softball for the Texas Longhorns. That's a big deal. Good for you. She's just lucky I'm the one that does the performance reviews because that could get you in some <laughs> trouble. That's true. Uh, I mean, there were a a long time ago. That was a thing. He's building in Waller County, the one that was asking about sealing sealing everything up. So. Yeah. 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 Touch base with your uh, superintendent. Find out what they're already doing and what mm-hmm. and you know what you can do. I certainly don't want you to spend money that you don't need to spend, uh, but also don't want to do anything that would prevent you from having your own peace of mind. Uh, right. Reason it's, it's reasonable. So. Absolutely. And Wes is team Oreo and team Thin Mints. So. Well played, Wes. I wish I could yes. do it. I wish I could get on there with the mints. I just, I've tried. Believe me, if it's a cookie, I've tried it. And I would love to follow <laughs> up with it. There's no doubt about it. But anyway, right. so thank you all for watching. Thank you, Mr. Miss Span, for letting us, for sharing your home, opening up to us, letting us do that. Thanks, David, for videoing it. Thank you, Kelsey, for taking the time to go there and walk around in your snakeskin boots at the, at the site. Dawn for putting this entire presentation together and the PowerPoint that I shared, but then apparently I took back. 
um, <laughs> for Manny. We'll figure it out someday. Thank all of you for, for watching and tuning into these, asking these questions. Um, this is not the only place you can find us, of course. We have a website that's open 24-7 that's got all the all of this material on there and way, way more. Mm-hmm. We have a YouTube channel that's got a ton of content that you can get on there and watch. So follow us there, subscribe, all that. Instagram page, of course, Facebook page. Uh, reach out to us there. We also have 12 design centers open seven days a week. And that's where you sit down with someone like a Cheyenne who can take you through this and white out the whole plan, like she said, and start drawing and make your dreams come true. Yep. That's where it all starts. So if you're not quite you. ready for that, we have the whole new home specialist team that you can you can call them right from the website, email them. They mm-hmm. can answer your questions and, and get you prepared for that. Yes, exactly right. So Join us again. We'll be here, obviously, doing more of these. So uh, Mm -hmm. reach out to us any way you want to. And between now and then, we genuinely soon hope to make you part of the Tilson family. We'll see you guys later. Bye, everybody.